Last year, I let myself go. Let me tell y'all, all of this is dead. That's done for. Do y'all remember when we used to hang bags up on our wall? I'm about to go ahead and try out this like imitation knockoff perfume. Y'all tripping about the limited edition Valentine's cups. Y'all tripping. Because one thing about a test is that you don't fail them. You just keep retaking them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is like so freaking cute. Y'all, I have made it to the cotton candy machine and I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that ain't going nowhere. But like I was saying, girl, I bought my very first Lush products. What you know about me? What you what you know about me? Oh my gosh, I remember one time somebody was trying to tell me to shush, like one of my friends, and like shh, and I was like, oh, your hands smell disgusting. Don't ever in your life. The enemy knows that the less knowledge we have on sin, the easier it is for him to tempt us. You need to know that God will never love you any more than he loves you right now. Y'all, this is my favorite Bertoli meal. It is so good. I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese, y'all to make it, you know, more cheesy. I learned how honey is made and I don't even think I like honey anymore. Baby girl, I'm trying to do laundry. And God is not giving us a spirit of fear, but power and love and a sound mind. Pamper morning, girl, here I come. But what is a pamper morning without hydration? This is the face mask that I'm using today, y'all. Mask of Magnum Minty, packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby adukai beans for deeply cleansed skin. They telling me that I can add on a Starbucks refresher to my Target pickup order? Are you serious? Mm. You know when you figure out that certain roles be connected, I'm like, wait a minute, was this when? I don't even remember these things connected like that. Girl, Pancheros is the spot. Here I come, girl. Girl, I'm gonna take you with me. You just can't see me. Hello, I'm gonna get a chicken burrito. I don't know what it is about drinking a good drink while driving and listening to good music. It's such a vibe and it just makes me like, I don't know, it's like I'm romanticizing my life. I gotta down this, y'all. And welcome back. It's me, your sister, your best friend, Chloe Yasmin, back with another random vlog because, girl, I think we know all of my vlogs are just so freaking random. Oh, yeah, and do not mind this burn on my arm, you guys. I usually never ever take like a pan or a pot off of the stove until I know everything is cooled down but I was just in a rush to get everything clean this day after I got done cooking and I took the pan off but it was still hot you know like you know like the metal that goes over the eye since the pan wasn't there I forgot that it was hot and I laid my arm on it on accident but let me tell y'all something I've been putting Neosporin on it every single day and girl, it's going away. It's not leaving a scar. So I am very much so happy about that, y'all. Neosporin? Whoever came out with Neosporin, oh my gosh, you're a genius. It's like, people are like geniuses, but I know that God anoints and enables people to do those kind of things. Like, there's no way a huge yacht can just float on top of the water. Human mind can't think like that. God thinks like that. And he, like, gives people what they need to make what we need, you know? And that's why when we start trying to give ourselves credit for certain things that he enables us to do for the talents that he has given us when we try to take credit for those things that's how we fall into pride you guys compliment me all the time like girl oh my gosh you're so talented or you really have a gift here and I'm like yeah but that's God's anointing like that's God working through me and so I give credit to Jesus for everything because I mean who else can I give the credit to okay anyways right now I'm getting myself together for the day which I don't really have much planned today today's honestly gonna be like a fun day because Jordan doesn't have to work today and when he has a day off and I don't have like a lot on my schedule like we just have fun we're young we don't have any kids we're newlyweds we're just gonna have fun you guys so we'll see what happens today he mentioned going to um back to the mall because he just took me to the mall the other day and took me shopping but he mentioned going back because I really wanted to try out this cotton candy machine but we didn't have enough time there's a cotton candy machine in the mall you guys and you could just do scan to pay and get a cotton candy like are you kidding me right now oh my gosh so we're gonna be going to the mall and we're gonna be doing like the cotton candy machine where it, like automatically makes your cotton candy <gasps> y'all tell me why this mall my new mall has a Starbucks in it 
So yeah, I, it's gonna be a fun day, but I also have so many things I wanna talk about. What I'm doing to my hair right now is I've had an oil treatment sitting in my hair for about a half an hour. I like to have it sitting in, sitting in for like two to three hours, um, but I don't have enough time because I'm literally getting such a late start on getting ready. I woke up at 6.50, which I, like I told y'all, I've been trying to work my way up to getting up at 5 a.m., but I've only been able to do 6.30. This morning, I was so tired. I knew it was 6.30. But I slept until 6.50. And then since I was so tired, I, I was moving so slow. I had my time with God and Jordan made me some breakfast. I've been doing like little random things here and there. And now we're here. And what time is it? 11.27. So I don't have enough time to let it sit for as long as I would like for it to sit in my hair. But that's okay. Because my hair is still going to look good. Okay. But what I do is I leave the oil treatment in for a couple hours on my wash day. And then once it gets down to like 10 more minutes, 7 more minutes... I start applying a hair mask in my hair and I let that sit for 10 minutes and then I start washing it. But um, right now I am applying this Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I got this for $19.99 at TJ Maxx. I'm just applying this over the oil and it's just going to give me a little bit of extra moisture because I was starting to notice that I lost all of my like hair talent like I for I completely bleh, mm, I completely forgot how to do my hair like I used to slay my curls but like last year I let myself go I really just let myself go like I just stopped doing my hair I stopped taking care of myself I stopped eating all kind of stuff I really just let myself go let me open up this door because it's getting hot in here and since I let myself go I really forgot how to take care of my hair and how to take care of myself and um, I noticed that my curls were so frizzy. My hair just wasn't popping how I knew that it could. And it's because, girl, I forgot how to do my freaking curls. I forgot how much product I actually need. I forgot all of those things. So right now I'm like relearning about my hair and like how to take care of it. So like I was saying, you know, I noticed that, you know, I would get out of the shower and I would be putting the product in. But like I'm still seeing like all these like flyaways, like all these like frizzy parts. And I'm like, how? Like, I'm putting the product in. Well, a couple weeks ago, I did an oil treatment, and that was not a problem. And my hair was so shiny, so moisturized, y'all. It looked amazing. So, once a week, I need to be doing my oil treatments, letting it sit in there for like a couple hours, put the little mask on top, and then get in the shower and wash it out. Um, now, the mask is definitely, like, optional. I just do it because I feel like it helped. Um, I did see a difference in my hair last time. Um, so I'm just trying to do everything I can to take care of my hair. And I'm also like, like y'all know, I'm trying to get it to grow faster because I'm trying to cut my hair. I want to be able to cut all of this off. Cause let me tell y'all, all of this is dead. That's done for. Um, but all of this is so healthy and it's just getting more and more beautiful every single day. So I'm trying to get a move on getting it longer so that when I cut it, I don't feel so bald headed. You feel like, man, okay. But yeah, I'm trying to get myself together right now. I'm gonna let this mask sit in my hair for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna hop in the shower and start getting myself together. I'm gonna wear that same Barbie outfit that I wore in my last vlog because y'all know, I'm gonna put a little bit more mask in here. Y'all know I really didn't get to enjoy it that much. I really didn't go nowhere but to the grocery store. So I'm gonna rewear that outfit. Um, and yeah, keep taking care of my hair. Keep taking care of my hair. I can't wait till it gets to this length with it all being my natural color. So it's going to be a fun vlog, but I also have like a lot of important things I want to talk about um, and talk to you guys about. So yeah, it's going to be fun, but it's also going to be, you know, more serious at different times of today's vlog but i know i am not the only person that keeps up with like amy and tammy from a thousand pound sisters because let me tell y'all something i'm so proud of them i am not about to sit up here and lie i am mostly proud of tammy because of how far she's came like she's not bitter anymore she really is such a sweetheart and we're starting to see the real tammy we're starting to see what was underneath all of that hurt and bitterness and anger we're starting to see 
Tammy and oh my gosh is she so freaking sweet and is she so awesome and I'm proud of Amy for standing up for herself and standing up for her boys and leaving a toxic situation I'm proud of them they're really doing a really good job and of course like I feel terrible for Amy with her situation right now like I wish I could literally just call her up and be like girl let's meet up like I'm gonna take you out for a day we're going to do it all and have a great time because man like She's so sweet. She really deserves the world. And I hate that, like, she's going through what she's going through. I'm not even going to speak badly about Michael because, girl, for what? Amy's, like, all-time dream was just to have that family unit. And it seems like her dream is literally crumbling in front of her eyes. But I wish she knew about Jesus because let me tell you something. And this is not to be mean towards Michael because I don't have a problem with Michael. I know I just sit up here and talk about Michael. I think Michael's a good person at heart as well. I just think that he struggles with the spirit of laziness. But like I said, I wish she knew Jesus because let me tell you something. He has sent her an amazing man. Of course, right now, it's time for her to, you know, spend time by herself and learn about herself, learn to love herself, learn what she likes and, you know. But I know that there is someone out there that would treat her like a queen. So, yeah, I'm proud of them. I'm not going to lie. I'm proud of them. I pray for them. And I am so happy that Tammy is doing as good as she is doing that's probably like the only like reality tv show that i really watch just because it's not really inappropriate like that i mean i have heard some things that were like okay but you know what majority of the show is really a good show and it's really like a family show and i am like i said i'll say it a million times i'm very proud of them so we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes like i already said and also this is the oil that i use for my oil treatment it is the Vatika black seed enriched hair oil they sell this stuff on amazon so i'll go ahead and add it to my amazon storefront and like the hair care section but yeah yeah i guess we can go ahead and like pass some time real fast and i can share with you guys what my husband bought me from the mall the other day first things first he bought me this fenty skin cherry dub triple action aha body scrub and i talked about this and how i felt about it on my recent cherry hygiene routine video the packaging is so beautiful rihanna does a really good job with her packaging do y'all remember when we used to hang bags up on our wall or like like pin them up on our wall that was so freaking tacky but i did it because first of all we was po we was po po flat poor and like anytime i got a shopping bag or someone didn't want their shopping bag anymore i'd be like oh i'll take it i'll take it put it up on my wall okay so that if you come into my room i can prove that i'm not all the way poor because i was able to like go shopping you feel what i'm saying That's so embarrassing oh my gosh but he bought me these black pants these are the same exact pants as the navy blue ones i had recently bought in um one of my vlogs so i got these super cute pants because i love how they fit my body and then like i told y'all in one of my recent vlogs these are like my favorite shirts right now my favorite tank tops because they're like corset tank tops and they come down but in the they don't come down in the back or like on the sides so it makes my outfits look so much better and it just makes like i want to say this the right way because I don't want anybody getting offended but like if a shirt doesn't fit me right or like pants don't fit me right it can make me look more boxy than I am which there's nothing wrong with like having like more of a box shape I'm not you know all that curvy or nothing but I feel like you get what I'm saying I like it because it fits me really well and it really shows like what I actually look like I'm trying to say it the right way because I don't want people thinking that I'm like so serious about how I look and like vanity and stuff like that I love to look nice I mean I really like to look nice but I'm not like controlled by it like if I look crazy, I'm still gonna show up on camera. If I look crazy, I'm still like, who cares? I don't need to look cute all the time if what I'm saying to feel beautiful. So you get what I'm saying. I'm not controlled by beauty standards because beauty standards are literally set by the devil. So why am I about to be controlled by your standard by what you think is beautiful matter of fact he wouldn't even think that's beautiful he knows that natural people are beautiful because they're made in God's image. We look like God. We are really beautiful. All that fake stuff. That's the devil's creation. We are God's creation. And that's not even saying that people that have surgery, God doesn't love them. That's not to say anything. God doesn't love me more than he would love somebody that has a complete fake body. He loves them just as much. But I'm here to let y'all know that naturally you are beautiful. And those beauty standards are set by the devil. So it's okay to want to look nice. It's okay to buy things that make you look nice. It's okay to know what you like on yourself. But it's not okay to think that those things are your beauty. It's not okay to 
think you're ugly if you don't have those things and I'm not sure the exact scripture but that scripture is literally taken out of context so much first Peter chapter 3 verses 3 through 4 your beauty should not come from your outward adornment so your beauty should not come from your outward adornments your outward things your clothes your nails your makeup your hair your jewelry your beauty should not come from those things such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes instead it should be that your inner self the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of great worth in God's sight so what it's saying is your beauty should not come from those things you have to know that your beauty is what's inside not what's on the outside because then you're falling into vanity and vanity is pride and with pride is guaranteed each time there is a downfall coming and so I'm glad that I talked about that because um, religious Christians make it seem that if you wear makeup, God doesn't love you. If you wear jewelry, God doesn't love you. I attended a church growing up that we had to have our skirts down to our ankles. Our hair had to be a certain way. We could not wear jewelry, couldn't paint your nails, can't wear any, any kind of makeup, no pants. Like it was really cult-like and none of that was true. And so I remember my parents saying, you know what, we're not gonna make her wear these dresses down to her ankle. We're not gonna make her have to be, you know, more timid when she's playing with her friends because she's got a skirt or a dress on. I wanted to wear these super cute gloves, these dress up gloves my mom, my dad got me for, um, for our little daddy daughter date. My mom said, you cannot wear those to church. You know you cannot wear those to church. And I was like, really upset. And my mom came back to me. She said, matter of fact, put them on. Yep, you put them on, you're gonna wear them to church. And if anybody says something to you, I'm gonna let them know because my daughter, shouldn't have to feel like she can't be herself and like the things that she likes because then God doesn't love her. I remember my parents coming to an agreement that they were not going to do that anymore. But I also got two bras, which I'm super happy about. I got two different bras. I don't get weird about like showing like my new bras or like my new underwear or anything like that because we all wear them and like girls watch me and women watch me. So it's like, big deal. I think the problem is is that everything is sexualized nowadays. A bra is not sexual. Underwear is not sexual. We need those things. Those are our undergarments. Like get out of here. And I know I've had this in for longer than 10 minutes but yeah like these are very lustful times. And speaking of lust I wanted to go ahead and add on to what I was saying in my recent video about guard your heart. You know we sat down and we talked about guarding your heart and how to guard your heart because everything you do flows from your heart. It's your innermost being. It's where your dreams are. It's where everything is your heart is so important and the Bible tells us to guard your heart at all costs and I told you guys you know how to guard your heart but I was speaking with my mom the other day and when we get to talk about the Lord we get to go and she was like you know you also guard your heart by guarding your eyes your ears and your mouth and I was like oh my gosh how did I forget to tell them that you guard your heart as well by guarding your eyes, not watching inappropriate evil things. Whether it be an inappropriate movie, an evil movie, a social media star that is clearly not serving Christ Jesus. Those things, they go straight to your heart. So if you're watching a gossip show or you're watching a fighting show, that goes straight to your heart. And what's in your heart comes out. So then you get to start gossiping about other people. Or you become a quarrelsome person. Let's say you're watching adult films. I try to be... Uh, careful with that word, the P word, because YouTube's, you know, very weird about words and stuff like that. But if you're watching things like that, that lust is going to your heart and it's going to come out. Um, so watch what you're watching. Watch what you're listening to. What music are you listening to? What is that music talking about? Is it talking about fornication? Is it talking about drugs? Is it talking about stealing? Is it talking about scamming? Is it talking about partying and clubbing? Those things are going straight into your spirit and your heart. And you are going to behave like those things that you are feeding yourself with. Your mouth, like I told y'all last time, don't speak negative things because you move in the direction of your words. So that is just me adding to, you know, how to guard your heart. So yeah, and, and I know this may be boring for some people to hear, but this is real life. These are the things that we have to do to make sure that the devil's not deceiving us. Last things that he bought me, two Victoria's Secret teas, Coco Soray perfumes okay so this is um Victoria's Secret's like newer fragrance Coco Soray and they had these on sale for like $24.99 Victoria's Secret had emailed me about this perfume I've seen it all over their website but didn't really care because I'm like Coco and the notes didn't even look good lush wildberry freesia petals whipped mocha ugh smelled it in the store I said ma'am you got any more of these because I ain't seeing none and they end up having two and I was only gonna get one but my baby was like go ahead and grab them both because that's all they have left let me see stop playing stop playing it's so beautiful 
Oh my gosh, y'all, it's so beautiful. I'm smelling coconut milk. Oh my gosh. Very, very, very beautiful, you guys. This fragrance is so pretty. So my baby went ahead and got me those things. And I'm so grateful. And then I also ordered some stuff. So let's open up this package and then I'll be back. Girl, I got such a good deal on these dang tank tops. These are different colors of my favorite corset tank tops. So I went online and I was searching for these corset tank tops on the Victoria's Secret website because I wanted to buy more. But girl, they're $30 each. And I was like, heck no, because the white one that Jordan bought me, he got it on sale for $15. And um, they were 30 bucks each. And I was like, girl, I'm not about to pay that. Plus shipping. Yeah, right. I go in my email and out of nowhere, they send me a coupon for like $20 off. And I was like, what the heck? And it actually worked. And then this one was on sale for $15.99. My total came up to 30 bucks for both of these, literally. So I got a blue one, like a baby blue one, which used to be my favorite color, but it's not no more. Gray also used to be my favorite color, but it's not no more. I don't really have a favorite color. Emerald green maybe, but I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really have one. And then I also got a gray one. Now I want a black one, but don't need a black one. So now I have a blue one, a gray one. This like, I don't know, what is this? Like beige? No, it's not beige. I don't know. I don't know. And I got a white one. So I have four of my favorite tank tops and I am stocked up on my favorite shirts right now. Because those are my favorite. They look so cute under jackets. They look so cute by themselves. They are just so freaking cute. So anyways, let me get my butt up in the shower. And I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Girl, it is crazy how much different my eyebrows look when I glue them up as opposed to right now. They look so thin, but I was in the shower and God told me to tell you guys as well, adding on to what I said earlier. When you are listening to worldly music, inappropriate music, when you are watching worldly TV shows, inappropriate TV shows, you are feeding yourself with that. You, me, we are temples for the Holy Spirit. That means that God lives within us. But God is not going to live anywhere that is tainted and evil. Think about that each and every time you're getting ready to go ahead and listen to something inappropriate or watch something inappropriate. You are feeding yourself with those things and God can't live there. He is only going to live in a holy temple. Which would make sense why if I watch something that I know I shouldn't have been watching or listening to something that I know I shouldn't have been listening to, it would make sense why I feel so disconnected from God. Okay, but girl... I'm about to go ahead and try out this like imitation knockoff perfume. I was on Amazon the other day and out of nowhere this brand, um, Myris, very low quality packaging. It looks very cheap and very like low quality, but this was actually like $25. I guess this Myris company, whatever the heck brand that is sold on Amazon, they make imitation perfume. So they have like almost 400 fragrances that are imitations of high end fragrances. So I haven't been able to find like an imitation hypnotic poison by Dior, but they actually had it. So I will say off the bat, it does smell like hypnotic poison. It almost smells exactly like it. I would say there is something that's not all the way there, but if somebody smelled like this eau de parfum, as they say, that's not a body spray, it's an eau de parfum, which makes sense why they're charging so much. If somebody smelled like this, I would be like, oh my gosh, are you wearing hypnotic poison? Because this does smell like hypnotic poison. Now, this is the thing. I am only going to wear this fragrance today to see how it lasts. If this fragrance lasts, like an actual eau de parfum, then I am going to buy the Crystal Noir one. I'm going to buy the Chanel Lou one, and I'm also going to buy the Coco Noir. I'm going to be trying out a new vanilla routine today. So I'm going to be using my Fenty Skin Body Cream. This is the Fenty Skin Body Cream by Rihanna, but a drop whipped oil body cream. And it definitely is a whipped oil body cream because y'all, this stuff is pretty darn oily. I wish it wasn't so oily, but it is. What I love about this body cream is that that it does not have a scent. It smells like nothing. So I am able to mix in my perfume oils with this body cream and like customize the body cream. So like I told y'all, we're going for vanilla because y'all know Hypnotic Poison is like a vanilla almond fragrance. And I'm going to mix the Fenty Beauty with this vanilla musk perfume oil. I buy these at Whole Foods and they are so concentrated. They will make you smell so beautiful. Honestly, you don't even need perfume if you're going to use this. But y'all know I'm extra, real extra. This is top tier. I don't know how I forgot about this. It's like every single time I come back to the Neymat oils. Nima? I don't know. 
I'm always like, girl, like, where have you been? Oh my gosh, smells so good. And you literally just need like, oh my gosh, that was way too much. You literally need like the tiniest amount. I was even thinking about dumping that entire bottle in my Fenty Skin Butter Drop um, body cream and just like customizing it. But I need that body cream for my other perfume oil, so I'm not going to do it. But oh my is so beautiful y'all this vanilla musk but y'all i remember when these perfume oils went viral on tiktok they went viral like a while back it was when i was on tiktok i haven't been on tiktok in over two years so it's been a minute but i remember when they went viral literally everybody was selling them out i go to whole foods they had one more i buy it it had no scent i bought some other ones no scent People were emailing me going off, all offended about it. They were like, are you serious? You have to oxidize it. Open up the cap and let it sit for a couple days. So I did. Nothing happened. Looked it up. I wasn't the only one that had a literal non-scented oil. Literally had no scent. I want to say maybe six, seven months later, I come across this vanilla musk one and it's got a beautiful scent. So I don't know what they was doing in their factory or whatever the heck, but girl, their oils were smelling like absolutely nothing. Smelling good, okay. And like I said, I'm only going to use this perfume. So let's see, is it strong? Ooh, girl, that's strong. Okay, like I told y'all, I'm only wearing this today. If it lasts all day, your girl is stocking up. And I'll add it to my Amazon storefront. But y'all, YouTube has a super cool feature now where I can tag products from like Target and Walmart, Sephora and Ulta. And it's like really easy for you guys to find it because you just hit tag the tagged products or whatever the heck and then like all the products used in my video will be on there and if you buy the products through those i get like a small commission so like on my recent cherry video i have all the products in there um i actually went back in my recent vlog and I listed all the products that I gave a good review on my hygiene empty so I'm gonna start doing that from now on I'm like girl I don't know how I haven't been hit but I'm gonna start doing that from now on because it works you know both ways for you guys and it also works for me okay girl let's get into this hair care and then I'm gonna apply some fragrance and girl we are out of the door uh. I am using this black vanilla leave-in conditioner by Carol's daughter it smells very very beautiful Okay, just to add a little bit more moisture and also to re-wet my hair because my curls turn out the best when my hair is like really wet. They be all dry and frizzy if I don't add like a leave-in conditioner or even just like water. So girl, that is definitely a tip. Make sure you like re-wet your hair if it dried up while you were getting yourself together. And I noticed that the back of my hair, that's the driest hair. Like the hair in the back, girl, that stuff be so dry. I put just as much product as I do in the front and the back, or honestly more sometimes. And it's like so frizzy. But I'm going to Dick's Sporting Goods, y'all, because I'm going to buy the orange Stanley cup that I've been wanting. Y'all know I love my Stanley cup. I love my white Stanley cup, but I also really want that orange Stanley cup. It's like a neon green Stanley cup. And my Stanley cup helps me to get so much water in. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not just Stanley cups. Like I also love the simple, dang, this is not coming out. I also love the simple modern cups, but they don't have a neon orange one. And I really want that neon orange one. I also want like the mint green one. Stanley has crazy colors. That's why I feel like Stanleys are also super popular because they really have a wide selection of colors. Now, I'm not gonna lie, y'all tripping about the limited edition Valentine's cups. Y'all tripping. I'm not gonna lie, y'all doing way too much. It's a cup, come on. Seriously, behaving like toddlers over a cup, that is absurd. If you don't know about this Stanley Cup stuff, I know I have like older women that watch me and I know y'all probably ain't staying updated with all like the Stanley Cup crap that's going on because my mom show sure ain't. Um, basically, Stanley came out with some limited edition pink Valentine's Day cups and people waited outside in the cold for these cups y'all got in the stores got to fighting there's kids people are literally fighting and running for these cups all because they're limited edition absolutely absurd for some cups 
this. You ain't gonna catch me. No. But I do want my orange Stanley cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Y'all see how much better my hair looks from doing that oil treatment? It looks so pretty, you guys, already. Usually I have like so much frizz still all over my hair when I um, apply product, like it still is frizzy. But y'all, doing that oil treatment and that hair mask, I'm telling y'all, it is changing my hair life. I am so excited about this new little routine I got down pat, cause girl, do I need it. And then I like to go in with my little like Denman comb, brush the product through and then scrunch it. All right, so I use my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk with my Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. So we'll see how my hair turns out today. It would be a dang shame if my hair turned out looking crazy and I didn't sit up here and say, y'all, my hair been looking so good. Girl, that would be embarrassing. Um, I used my Shea Moisture Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner. So those are my products today. Okay, I know I said I was only going to spray my new um, like little knockoff perfume. But I don't think it's going to make a difference if I only spray this. Because even if I spray this in another fragrance, I'll be able to still smell this fragrance if it lasted. I am going to wear my Luminous Body Spray. But I wanted to quickly talk about this body spray. My younger subscribers may not know about Chocolate Amber by Bath & Body Works. It's a discontinued fragrance. It has been discontinued for literally like... 10 years, maybe even over 10 years. It's been a while since Chocolate Amber, you know, was actually sold and they came back out with it. They just renamed it Luminous. Y'all, Chocolate Amber used to be that girl. Now, when I hear chocolate, I'm like, ew. But actually, the chocolate smells so good in Chocolate Amber. Bath & Body Works had like a survey going on on their website a while back and I filled it out. They were like, can you tell us some fragrances that you miss that have been discontinued that you want to see come back around? And so I put like a million fragrances that I miss. And one of them was Chocolate Amber. And then out of nowhere, Luminous came out. Now, I'm not seeing chocolate, but I'm seeing Praline Amber. And Praline is very, very, very similar to chocolate when it comes down to fragrance notes. So this is literally chocolate amber. So if you miss that fragrance, get luminous. This is the exact same thing. Now y'all probably like, girl, how do you know about chocolate amber? Cause you was young when chocolate amber, you know, was out and was about. My mama. I remember the old uh, Bath and Body Works packaging my mom. I remember she had like the whole hookup for chocolate amber. And this is just so nostalgic. I remember she ended up giving me the rest of her chocolate amber bottle because once she used a fragrance up for so long, she would end up giving me her old fragrances. So she's really the reason why I'm so big on hygiene because my mom always gave me her old fragrances or her old products, body washes, lotions. So um, I've been hit to the fragrance game. Okay. Y'all, and I'm so sad. The towel I was wearing earlier, I should have wore this in my recent video. If you know, you know. And we're headed out and we'll see how this fragrance lasts. Let me tell y'all about a test that I just recently passed. Was it? No, it was the day before yesterday. It was the day that I filmed my cherry hygiene routine. So I get up and I'm spending time with the Lord and I just felt like God told me that Locket was going to pee on my curtains. Like, it was so weird, but I was like, no, like, no, there is no way. A couple hours go by and I hear my mom say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I was like, mom, what's going on? She was like, she just peed and pooped all over the curtains. I said, okay. At first I was like, oh my gosh. And then like 25 seconds into it, I was like, wait a minute, no. I said, this is a test. I said, the devil's trying it. The devil's trying it, this is a test. They didn't tempted this dog to go ahead and do some crazy stuff so that I can come out of character and so it can ruin my day. And so I can't do things efficiently because I'm so upset. Girl, no. Took the curtains down, prayed that the stain will come out. I put some OxyClean, vinegar, baking soda. Girl, stain came out, hung them back up. They hung dried and girl, I passed the test. And I was so happy that I did because one thing about a test is that you don't fail them, you just keep retaking them. 
and I ain't trying to retake that test. Okay, so I'm so happy that I passed it. So y'all expect the devil to try to upset you and do the exact thing that he knows will be easier to bring you out of character. Don't give it to him. Don't give it to him. Now, just because you pass that test and you don't give it to him, doesn't mean he's not gonna wait for another opportunity. So that's why we always have to stay on guard. We can definitely rejoice in our victories and be like, I'm so glad that I did not react, you know, in a bad way. Like, so happy that I passed the test. But don't get too excited to where you are not expecting for him to try it again. Cause I've done that. I'm like, okay, well I'm good. Look, I didn't pass it. I'm good, I'm good, look. Got a little lenient, put my shield down, and he tried it and I didn't pass that test. So we gotta stay on guard y'all, we gotta stay on guard. But um, my husband is taking me to Dick's Sporting Goods. Like I told y'all, I wanna get a new Stanley Cup. So we're headed to Dick's Sporting Goods. A little nice haircut, you look so fine. Thank looking you. all good also let me tell y'all how i feel about my new purse that i just bought at target and my recent vlog oh my gosh it's so freaking cute and it's my favorite right now you guys i got it all dolled up y'all i got a cute little puff ball i got like a little fake chanel perfume keychain girl some pearls oh my gosh it looks so freaking cute i love it but i'm not gonna lie it's very hard to get stuff around the strap i couldn't get any of these around the strap you guys so what i did was i used that um victoria's secret keychain i bought recently y'all know and it's got like a really big loop thing right here so i put that around the handle and i was able to attach all these cute little jewels so what i will say is that it's not very easy to bedazzle and get all jeweled up just because of these straps but girl i did it and it looks so cute i love it you guys i love it so much it has so much space and it's just so aesthetic and so cute and it's so cheap for how cute it is you guys so yes i love this bag this coat i got blessed with y'all this was actually my first north face coat if you are real og i bought this years back if you remember you remember i went to tj maxx one day and i was like debating on if i should get the coat i'm like should i get the coat should i get the coat and i was like y'all i'm debating on it like i don't know if i should get it because it was 200 dollars. but originally this coat is like 400 dollars. so i got it and girl i loved it like this was my coat for so long i'm sure y'all remember it's so freaking cute such a good deal because y'all know tj maxx ain't about to sell no north face coats or at least mines didn't they sold jackets not no coats so yeah this is my very first north face coats uh north face coat the memory the memories also definitely check out you are the lord by upper room i love this song you guys it goes every other god is an idol who cannot see who cannot hear and there is one but there is one true living god and his name is jesus love that song it's so powerful and i love to praise and worship to it girl the only thing i cannot stand about drinking a lot of water is girl i have to go pee all the time i really hope this dick sporting goods got a bathroom that is available to the public because oh my gosh i have to pee so freaking bad and i got my cup and it was actually the last one in this size because i like to get the 40 ounce ones to get a good amount of water in these 30 ounce ones like girl i'll slip that down in no time oh my gosh i'm so excited this is like so freaking cute mission accomplished the stanley's are definitely the new hydro flasks i never bought a hydro flask just because i personally like straws like i like tumbler straws um but yeah yetis are or not yetis stanley's are the new hydro flask Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited and so freaking cute. Okay, let's go to the mall, we go. Y'all know patience is something I really struggle with. I mean, so bad that like, I don't even wanna wait for Jordan to open up my door. But yesterday, um, I was just sitting in my room and out of nowhere, I was just like, oh my gosh, like actually I'm so grateful that he gets my door. Like men don't even do that no more. And I'm so grateful and I need to actually start like enjoying the moment of him doing it and actually letting him do it so i have told myself i am going to start waiting i don't care how slow he walks i'm going to start waiting for him to open up my door and it's also a respect thing like i should respect you enough to wait for you to open up my door if that's what you want to do you want to open up my door then i should let you so i am working on that and i'm doing pretty good right yeah you are because he began so frustrated like girl let me open up your door or stay in the car until i get to your door stop trying to hop out so fast or get in so fast you're gonna get there but we're gonna have to go to some kind of grocery store though 
um, when we're on our way back home because I didn't take out no meat last night, so I don't have no food to cook. So we're gonna have to go to the store and get like some Bertoli meals okay. to That's quickly fine. quickly make that with some garlic bread. That's always my go-to if I forgot to take out some meat. Girl, I go to the store and get some stuff that I can easily prepare real fast, okay? Y'all, I got hot. I had to go ahead and take that coat off. As y'all can see, I'm getting rosy cheeks because it's hot up in here. But it also keeps ripping at my hair. And I'm like, uh, mm mm. This is the type of coat I gotta wear if my hair is, uh, up. We came to Panda Express because, girl, the food smell. Oh my gosh, the ambulance is here. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, Lord Jesus, whatever's going on, move in that situation and be there for them. Let, let the best come out of the situation. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. But yeah, girl, we came to Panda Express because it smells so good. Thanks, babe. Yeah, you're welcome. I love this. It's salt. Salt's been getting on my black clothes too because you haven't taken my car for a car wash. <laughs> can we go for a car wash today? If no one get here, we can look for it. Girl, I gotta take my car to the car wash. Don't leave salt on your paint, y'all, because it can bubble your paint and it can mess up your paint job. So don't suggest it. Thank you. I love days like this. I love that we don't have any kids because we can just like live our life, get to know each other more, have fun with each other. Mm -hmm. Wait I'm so grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. I was getting hungry. You was getting hungry? Me too. I was just sick. It's like as soon as we put up to the mall, I was like... Yeah, you knew what time it was. I knew what time it was. <laughs> <laughs> but I got orange chicken and rice. Me too. Oh, you did? Except they got double orange chicken. Double orange chicken. Okay. Yeah. This is the best Panda Express. They got the perfect like slices for the chicken. Mm-hmm. Some of them be weird and super big, you know. This tastes so much better than the other Panda Express I've had. And the fact that we ain't got you a fresh cold one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fresh cold ginger ale. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> Look, I'm sitting up praying that whatever happened that caused the ambulance to come to the mall, I was praying that everything goes great. Girl, they came for some Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> Still gotta pray if you don't know though. Y'all, look at this crap. So I have been getting a lot of these weird scam emails. Y'all watch out for these, or weird scam text messages. Y'all watch out for text messages and emails when they're claiming that they're PayPal or they're claiming that they're USPS, UPS, FedEx. This one right here, I said, please stop scamming. This will come back on you. My message did not um, send, but I told Marquise, Mr. Marquise, I said, for real Marquise, stop scamming, do better. <laughs> but it, it never delivered. So anyways, watch out for these y'all because I be getting weird emails too. Be like, it's PayPal, um, the transaction on your card, blah, blah, blah. And they're trying to get you to contact them and then they're going to try to scam you, get into your account and take all your money. If you ever watch Scammer Payback on YouTube, he'll explain the whole entire thing. Y'all, I have made it to the cotton candy machine and I am so excited. So you can get different designs is what it's looking like. You can get a rose, you can get a butterfly, princess. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to figure, <laughs> what one do I want? Oh my gosh, let me look. This is so exciting, fall in love. Ooh. So it's the ones that have multi-colors that are more expensive. So I wanna get the multi-color ones because, oh, that one's cute though. That's it? Okay, that's it. So I'm thinking, man, I don't know. This one, happiness. That's a good one. That's a good one. Swipe your card, okay. All right, y'all. Oh my gosh, get it on camera, get it on camera. Yeah, I'll try a little bit. Come on. 
Let me see him do this thing. I should have waited to get this last. I should have waited to do this last. All the same down there. Because I wanted to go into another store. So you like bad. it. You do like it. I feel bad. All the little kids are looking at me and I want to be like, do you want one? But I don't want to like offend their parents. Yeah, you never know. You never know because I've, I've done that before. Like, I try to get kids money or I try, like, I guess that is kind of creepy. But I've tried to like buy kids toys. <laughs> okay. And like their parents were like, no, no, they're fine. They're blessed. And I was like, okay. They said they're blessed? Yeah, they're blessed. <laughs> they're blessed. Okay. So I got my cotton candy. And our mall trip is completed. Oh no, they playing that copyright stuff. Okay girl, we are out of the mall and I just have the cotton candy sitting right here. Definitely not as flavorful as I was expecting. Like I'm used to like flavorful cotton candy. It doesn't really have too much of like flavor going on. It's not really all that sweet. So definitely not as good as like store-bought cotton candy or like handmade cotton candy. Definitely not as good. But I actually went to Lush and bought myself my very first Lush product. We're pulling up to a car wash right now, y'all. So, dang, it's a lot of people in here. But like I was saying, girl, I bought my very first Lush products because I want to have like a cute little pamper morning tomorrow. So I wanted to get cute products, y'all. I've been slacking on my baths, but I took one the other day. Jordan ran me a bath, and I was like, oh my gosh. I got to start taking baths so much more often because they really relax me, and they just get a system smelling super good. So, tomorrow morning, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a nice little pamper morning, so I grabbed some products that I really want to use. So, I've actually never gotten Lush products before, you guys, and I didn't even record because one time I called Lush and asked them if it was okay if I record, and they were like, no, like, we have a no filming policy, blah, blah, blah. So, I just picked up a couple things. So, this is the love burger the buns are bath bombs cherry scented bath bombs the burger is a bubble bar and the tomato and lettuce are soap you guys so i'm super excited to go ahead and open this up tomorrow morning it's valentine's day themed you guys i'm so excited dude this is why i never take my car through the car wash this is why i always have my mom and jordan do it because the person in front of us they pull it in the wrong way dude that would freaking be me and they cannot get their car through the car wash i feel terrible this is why I don't go through car washes because I would literally be freaking embarrassed. I can barely even freaking drive, right? I know they're so frustrated and it's also like kind of embarrassing. I would be so embarrassed, but honestly, like I should not be embarrassed. Like being embarrassed is of the devil. Fear of man and fear of man is not fearing a person. It is fearing like what they think about you, what they're going to say about you. You know, fear of man that is so dangerous. Fear of man is a tactic of the devil and he uses it to keep us out of the will of God. He distracts us with fear of man and he um, steals our dreams through fear of man. Okay, but that's not all I got, y'all. We going through the car wash right now. That's not all I got. I also got this Rose Jam Shower Gel, and it smells so good. I don't even like rose, but this smells so beautiful. It says, lather up with decadent rose absolute, vanilla pod infusion, and nourishing argan oil. So I got a body wash, so we going, ooh, so I'm gonna wash my body with that. And then I also got a face mask. I gotta go home and put this in the, um, fridge but i also got this mask of magna menti magna menti power mask so i got a face mask as well you guys so i'm super excited she also gave me some samples hey! yeah the power washer she also gave me some samples she was so freaking cool so really excited about tomorrow morning y'all i'm gonna have me a nice little baby why was I talking to my mom? She called me when I was in Panda Express. She was like, girl, I loved your cherry video. She's like, girl, I want me some cherry products because it looks so juicy. I was like, oh my gosh, doesn't it? I was like, and I'm so mad because I should have worn my cherry towel. And I didn't. She was like, oh my gosh. I was like, stop, please, because I already know that was my reaction. Like, when I see my cherry towel this morning, I was like, girl, what were you thinking? Dude, finna have a clean car, clean car. The, the lyrics. I don't even know the song you're singing. What, what you mean? What you know about me? What you what you know? Oh. What you know about me? What you what you know? I said my lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. I'm standing at my locker. Wait, what? Popping. Standing at my locker. All the boys keep stopping. I've never really actually listened to the song. I've just heard it in like videos and like movies. Yo, 
y'all know I hate these dryers and it's fire in there. I ain't playing around. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, it's melting it, babe. This block of ice, y'all can't even see it. This stupid block of ice has been stuck on my mirror for days, you guys. And it was melting it. Oh, man. Almost. We almost had it. This stupid big old chunk of ice has been sitting there. Y'all, days on days on days on days. It happened. We had like a little winter storm the other day. And our electricity went out for a whole freaking day. It happened then. And it just hasn't melted. But, girl, we got some serious stuff to go ahead and talk about. So, we're about to go home and sit down and we're gonna have some holy girl time one-on-one -on -one holy girl time i want to have more of this time with you guys because we are all sisters in the body of christ i know ain't it hot yeah that was a blast we are all sisters in christ and we have to stick together and we have to talk with each other talk to each other we have to do that so i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna talk about something that i've been wanting to talk about while i'm doing that jordan said he's gonna run to the store for me and get like the bertoli meals and stuff like that we're not hungry right now because we just ate panda express but we definitely will be hungry in the next couple of hours it's three o'clock, so by the time we eat the Bertoli meals, it'll be dinner. So let's go home, sit down, and have some holy girl time. Girl, I be so happy when I get home and I can wash my hands. Woo! It feels so nasty from touching everything. I love this soap, you guys. Basil, leaf, and apple. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Every time I use this soap, I just have to go like this for like five minutes. Oh my gosh, I remember one time somebody was trying to tell me to shush, like one of my friends, and like shush, and I was like, oh, your hands smell disgusting. Don't ever in your life, actually. Oh my gosh, I got soap in my shirt. I told y'all earlier that I really gave up on myself last year. Like I really let myself go, and um, but I'm getting back on track. Matter of fact, I'm getting better than I was before. So everything that happened at the end of 2022 and in 2023, actually god is using for my good whereas the devil intended it for my bad but god is working it all out for my good i mean i went through a tough time but you know what i have grown i am becoming the woman that god wants me to be i've matured like i literally see the biggest change in myself you don't really see it until you look back and i look back at like videos and i look back at like pictures and i can just tell where i was at during that time and I have really grown and I'm so grateful that God even allowed me to go through so much hurt in the past year and a half um, because he allowed it to happen for my good. That's how much he loves me. This is my beautiful baby. Hers has been a little bad, but I still love her. Hers my baby. You've been bad, huh? Stop licking my <laughs> girl gone somewhere. You got your own water. Okay, girl, I am here. We're gonna go ahead and start talking. I don't know why I thought that soap stain was gonna like dry up and like go away. No, it's soap, so I had to rinse it out. So I put on my Jesus over everything shirt because it's perfect. And also, if you guys see my face getting red, it's a little bit hot up here, y'all. My mom had the heat on 80 today because her level gets super cold. So in order for it to be warm, we have to put it to a very high temperature. So I've got my window cracked so I can keep it, you know, decently cool in here. Because your girl gets really hot. I'm like my dad. Like, I can get really, really hot. Or I get really, really hot. Like, I'm a sweater. I will literally sweat all day if I don't have tons of water and if I don't have any cool air. That's just me. But anyways, y'all, oh my gosh. Also, I have it playing right now, or I have it up on my TV right now. More Than Able, featuring Chandler Moore and Tiffany Hudson by Elevation Worship. Caught the Holy Ghost in the car. I'm crying, speaking in tongues when I tell you guys this song, More Than Able, is so powerful. Just in them saying, you are more than able. Who am I to deny what the Lord can do? Just them saying that was so powerful that he's more than able. Who am I to deny what the Lord can do? It's gonna happen. Such a powerful song. I don't know all the lyrics yet because I literally just listened to it. But definitely go ahead and check that out. So we got two songs that I suggested to you guys today. You Are the Lord by Upper Room and More Than Able by Elevation Worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love a good worship song because... You get into the presence of Jesus. You can really feel the presence of Jesus. You can really feel him. God's been really heavy on my heart to 
include this in a vlog. I made a actual video reading this and talking about this and it was me talking about the topic of sex as Christians because like I mentioned earlier we are in a time of lust. Now that's not to say that the world hasn't been struggling with lust for a long time because the world has but nowadays it's worse than ever and what a lot of people don't understand nowadays is that sex is wrong before marriage this is actually the topic that i get the most hate on so i'm expecting it demons are going to be mad that is my confirmation that i'm doing what's right i've actually had multiple people reach out to me and say hey you know i remember when you spoke about fornication i unsubscribed from you i really didn't like you for even speaking on it i was so irritated about it but i had to realize why am i irritated about it so i decided to stop indulging in sexual sin and when i tell you girl my life is so much better i thank you for even speaking up if you would have never said anything like i would still be living in sin because when I speak there's a seed being planted it may not sprout up instantly but eventually it will so I'm going to get into the topic of sex as Christians the most uncomfortable topic in the Christian community and I wrote this even before I was married way before I was married I wrote this a while ago you guys but God has really been heavy on me about sharing this with you guys so let's get into it there's gonna be angle changes you guys because my camera loves to overheat with the setting that I have it on so don't mind that there will be um angle changes and things like that but that's minor compared to what we're talking about the topic of sex as Christians for some reason us Christians rarely ever talk about sex I believe that is the plan of the devil so that he can attack and tempt us efficiently I noticed that the topic of sex in churches and just the Christian community as a whole is a very shamed and uncomfortable topic and I am starting to figure out why. You see, if the enemy can get us not to talk or learn about what sex is and was created for as well as how to deal with the sexual temptation as an unmarried Christian when it comes, then he can get us to destroy ourselves through sex or sexual material such as inappropriate videos or images. The enemy knows that the less knowledge we have on sin, the easier it is for him to tempt us. Growing up in my household, the topic of sex wasn't ever really discussed. And if it was, it was referred to as gross, nasty, evil, etc. Which made me feel so disgusting and worthless when I was experiencing temptation with my boyfriend, my now husband. Since I had no knowledge on the topic of sex as a Christian, I felt like there was something wrong with me and that I was less of a Christian woman. I began to study sex as a Christian and I am here today to discuss what I have learned. So let's chat. Sex isn't bad, gross, or evil if it is done how God intended. As a matter of fact, it is a beautiful blessing from God as long as it is done how he intended between married couples. And if it is not done the right way, then there will be deep consequences. Considering we are supposed to keep our bodies holy for they do not belong to us and have been bought with the ultimate price. Amen. Why is sex strictly for married couples and what was it created for? Reason number one why it is strictly for the married is because the Bible says you become one flesh when you indulge in sexual sin with someone. 1 Corinthians 6, 16. Or do you not know that the one who joins himself to a prostitute is one body with her for he says the two shall become one flesh whoa this tells me that whatever she does in her day-to-day -day life will affect him spiritually as well as his relationship with god because they have joined in flesh this scripture also tells me that each time you have intercourse with someone you are leaving pieces of yourself behind and as the world refers to it soul ties because now your soul is intertwined with theirs and others if they have joined with others if you notice people who practice sexual intercourse with more than one person often appear resentful and empty and that is simply because when we unite with multiple sexual partners we leave pieces of ourselves behind this is one reason sex is strictly for the married who you are married to the devil is really good at convincing us that God is depriving us of something that we should have and enjoy when in reality he is trying to protect us another reason why sex is strictly for married couples is because God knows what married couples need to stay healthy enjoy themselves and stay connected so I believe God knew that sex would allow husband and wife to have something beautiful and special between only them that only they can enjoy privately 
one-on-one. -on -one. It allows a husband and wife to express and show their love for one another and bond emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So that's a reason why it's strictly for married couples, but that also explains what it was intended for. Now another reason that it was created is for reproduction. God said over and over again in the Bible, go and multiply. Psalm 127, 3. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb, a reward. Of course there's nothing wrong with not wanting to have children but sex gives us that option. Now why is sex bad for the unmarried? Real fast I have this little page and it says just so you know if the Bible calls it a sin your opinion really doesn't matter. <laughs> just so you know what the Bible says goes. So why it's bad for the unmarried? The Bible also says that sexual sin including adultery is the only sin that goes against your body. 1 Corinthians 6, 18 through 20. Run from sexual sin. There's an exclamation point. Hold on, you guys. Jordan's at the store, so he needs to know what I want. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> and my camera's gonna die, of course. Okay, run from sexual sin. There's an exclamation point after that. No other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does. For sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself. For God bought you with a high price. So just honor God with your body. That's 1 Corinthians 6, 18 through 20. Since we have already discussed the joining of flesh, being obviously one reason, now let's discuss the rest. When you have sexual intercourse with one other than your husband or wife, including adultery, then you sin against your own body, meaning it is self-harm. It leads to deep pain and darkness and opens a door for the devil and his minions to taunt you, even if you are unaware they are doing so. Even if you are unaware that that's the reason why they're taunting you. You feel crazy, you're a different person fornication has opened up a door. You are literally fighting yourself when you do that. So since this is the only sin that goes against our bodies, no wonder the devil is so intense with his sexual temptation all over the world. No wonder sex between unmarried people isn't considered wrong anymore. And no wonder marriage isn't an honored or beautiful thing anymore. Whatever God made good, the devil wants to try his hardest to perverse. Or he tries his hardest to perverse. Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed kept pure. For God will judge the adulterer and the sexually immoral. Let me go ahead and change this battery so it doesn't give out on me. So now that we've gone over why sex is bad if you're not married, what it does if you do it while you're not married, now let's go ahead and get into how do we resist it? Because we could talk about how it's bad all day. We could talk about, you know, don't do it all day. But how do I not do it? How do I resist that temptation? 1 Corinthians 10, 13. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. So that scripture tells us right there that we can do it. We can resist that temptation because God's not ever going to allow the devil to tempt us more than we can bear. If he knows that temptation is way too strong and you are guaranteed going to fall, nope, not happening. You ain't doing it. He only allows the devil to tempt us with things that he knows we can resist. So I think that is very important to know that you can do it. Think positively about yourself. Talk nicely to yourself. A lot of people are indulging in sexual sin because they don't like their self. They don't think they're pretty. And for the moment, they're able to get their mind off of life and they're able to feel beautiful or they're able to feel something, but it's temporary. And the consequences that come with that are not worth that temporary satisfaction. So let's get into, like I said, how to resist sexual temptation. First things first, don't put yourself in tempting situations. For an example, and these are just examples, there's way more than this. Don't go to the club, don't go to the strip club, don't meet up with your ex in a non-public area, don't meet up with somebody that you've already had sexual intercourse with if you guys are gonna be behind closed doors. Know yourself and know what leads to you indulging in sexual sin or what leads to you being heavily tempted. Think about what will happen if you give into the devil's trap. So think about the consequences. No, Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, don't let this happen right now, Lord Jesus. Don't let the electricity go out, Lord Jesus, please. Guard the electricity line, whatever you need to do, Lord Jesus. Please don't let the electricity go out. This is what happened before the electricity went out last time. Dear Lord Jesus, please, God. No, in the name of Jesus, the electricity will not go out. Think about the consequences. Walk in wisdom. 
Walking as wisdom is doing now what you're gonna be happy with later. Don't do something stupid now and then be miserable later. Avoid inappropriate content. If you have to delete Instagram, if you gotta delete TikTok, if you gotta delete Snapchat, go ahead and do it. Cause let me tell you something, the devil knows your weakness and if lust is your weakness or if sex is your weakness, he's gonna keep putting stuff on your timeline, keep putting stuff on your feed to tempt you. He uses social media to bring you into sin. Pray, pray to God, ask him for his help. Pray continually. When you're starting to um, feel that temptation coming on, get to praying, get to praying. Pray to Jesus Christ. Be careful who you spend your time with or spend your time watching. If you're hanging out with people that don't think that sex is wrong, if you're not married, then you'll justify it. And as far as being careful with who you're spending your time watching, I mean, if you're sitting up watching somebody like Cardi B, which I'm not judging her, but she is a very sexual person. If you're watching Megan Thee Stallion, read the word of God. Stay fed with the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. Because when you are fed with the word of God, you're able to recognize deception when it comes. And he loves to deceive you. Oh, it's okay. This is going to make you feel so much better. Oh, God forgave you last time. He'll forgive you this time, too. I'm playing God like he's a freaking fiddle. Yeah, right. You can't play God. You're going you gonna to pay for it. <laughs> and look up scripture when needed. You know, if you're dealing with temptation, look up scripture on sexual sin, sexual temptation. Look up scriptures on that. Read articles on it. Watch a video about it. Remember that it's self-destruction and self-harm. You are destructing yourself. You are harming yourself. Let me tell y'all something right now. This is what really helped me in Jordan. Realize the enemy is present. This is a fight. Think about it. Your enemy is present. Think about some evil demon being present. You just can't see him. Think about your worst enemy coming up to you and saying, pick up that knife and stab yourself. You would be like, girl, you crazy? You really are demonic. You're a hater. Get out of my house. So think about that when you're facing sexual temptation. Sexual temptation. The enemy's there and he's trying to get you to harm yourself. They're not going to tempt you with anything that's going to help you. This is a fight. Realize the enemy is present and he's laughing at you once you fall into his temptation. <laughs> We got him again, boys. Just like always, ain't nothing different. We know exactly what to hit him with. <laughs> Woo, think about that. I know I can be a little aggressive at times, but you gotta be. You gotta be aggressive towards the devil, amen. And last but not least, whatever you don't feed will die. The more you resist, the stronger you will get until it doesn't bother you, mm, bother you any longer. You're like, mm, I didn't been here before. This ain't my first rodeo, <laughs> you liar. Now let's get into how to resist sexual temptation in a relationship. And you know, I am the perfect person to talk about it because I did it. First things first, you have to be with someone equally yoked that loves Jesus just as much or even more than you so that you guys are on the same page and the same mission. You guys want the same for each other. Number two, do Bible study on sexual sin together. Educate yourselves, but not even just separately, together. Come together and educate yourselves on sexual sin. Number three, pray together and ask the Lord to strengthen you. Pray that every day. Remember that the Lord cannot bless a sinful relationship. If you want this relationship to be, to be blessed, if you want to prosper, if you want to see blessings in this relationship, you cannot fornicate. Number five, don't sleep in the same bed together. That's literally asking to fall into sexual temptation. Get out and stay busy together. Get out, have fun, get your minds off of it. Enjoy each other, laugh with each other. You can enjoy yourself without having intercourse. You can. So get out and stay busy. Stay busy together. Communicate. Communicate. I remember Jordan telling me, I need you to tell me when you are starting to feel the temptation and I am going to, and I am going to do the same. When he came to me, each and every time he told me, hey, I'm dealing with this temptation right now, we were able to come together, pray, watch a sermon, uh, read the Bible. But if you don't communicate, it's easier to fall into temptation. Now this right here, a lot of y'all may disagree with, but this is something that Jordan and I had to stop doing because we noticed that this was actually making temptation a lot stronger. And it was like inviting the enemy to tempt us. Um, making out because something happens when a couple makes out and these intense feelings come and it's so much easier to fall into temptation because you're just in the moment. Um, no excessive touching. So, you know, I know some guys like to touch their woman's thigh while they're driving. Nope. That can bring feelings, grabbing the waist, kissing the neck, you know, certain things like that are a no-go. It makes you want to do things that you should not be doing. Think before you act. Use wisdom. Think about the person that you are in a relationship with. Think about them. If you love them, you will try your hardest to resist temptation because it's gonna hurt them. It's, it's gonna hurt you as well. 
but you have to think about the other person as well and also think that your relationship might not even end up working out because you invited sin in and when sin is present a lot of times there's strife and anger and just so many things and it can ruin a beautiful relationship now this right here i'm gonna tell you this right now if you know that you are with the one but you guys can't quite afford a wedding or fancy rings and you guys are living together experiencing intense temptation get married who cares why not honor christ with your relationship and if you honor christ with your relationship and you make a covenant under him he will bless it and you can one day have the wedding and rings that you want i believe the enemy uses the you can't afford a wedding or the beautiful rings excuse to hold people back from marrying one another and doing things the right way he uses that as an excuse to not get married now last but not least how do you forgive yourself for sexual sin because what we're not going to sit up here and do is act like if you have indulged in sexual sin that you're less of a woman or less of a christian than a virgin because it's not true actually i give y'all more props for a resistant temptation than a virgin because once you've had it it's harder to resist it so actually i give y'all more props matter of fact so how to forgive yourself for sexual sin first john 1 and 9 if we confess our sins he is faithful and he is god he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from unrighteousness so he can cleanse you from all of that if you confess your sins to him and repent and ask for forgiveness he will do so but you got to understand that a lot of the times we ask for forgiveness but we don't accept it once you ask for forgiveness believe that you have been forgiven you have to believe to receive. You can't receive his forgiveness if you don't believe that you're forgiven. Believe that you're forgiven. Get that guilt out of here. Guilt out of here. Guilt is of the devil. It's our way of trying to pay for sins that he already paid for. Oh, so if I did a bigger sin, I got to be guilty for more days. But if it's little, I can just be guilty for one day. Why do I think I could pay for this? He already paid for it. Acts 3 and 19. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. <laughs> he can wipe those sins way away and forget them. He'll never remind you of your past. That's the devil. God does not work through condemnation. He works through conviction. Repent, believe you're forgiven, and receive it, then live guilt-free. You can't prosper if you're living in guilt. It's a trick of the enemy. The enemy knows that through emotions of guilt, he can move in our mind and life easier as well as keep you from moving forward. And then also, this is going to be a very big part in forgiving yourself. First things first, accepting that that may be a weakness of yours, but then find the root. Some people have sexual intercourse to fill some sort of void that only Christ can fill. So I suggest you find the root and once you find the root of why this is your weakness, maybe something happened in your childhood, maybe something was introduced to you in your childhood, maybe it's a generational curse, you never know. Find the roots, ask God to reveal the root if you don't know, and move forward. Forgive yourself and move forward and let God um, guide you. Remember, you cannot fill a void with sex. Only Christ can fill that void. I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop there. I was gonna talk about some more. As you guys know, I told you guys I was gonna talk about a couple things, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop there. I think that's good for today i've got all my papers mixed up i gotta get them back in order oh my goodness Ugh. oh here we go i think that's good real fast though how did i feel about that <laughs> perfume i used earlier it didn't last as good as the actual perfume but it did last it did last um i could still smell it but just not as strong as i would have smelled it if it was the actual hypnotic poison perfume spot on with the fragrance i would say i would say they did a very good job with matching it and um yes i will be purchasing the other ones that i wanted because it did last a long time like i said lasted but not as strong as the actual perfume but that's okay because a lot of times i want like a body spray that goes with the perfume so i would say it's giving body spray but a strong body spray um hate the packaging the packaging y'all are really gonna have to work on because I don't like wasted product and it's pretty pricey. $23 is pretty pricey um, for it to be leaking. So I would definitely say change the packaging, but I will be purchasing the other ones that I wanted because I'll be wanting like a body spray to go with my my perfumes to layer it, make it a lot stronger. Um, But I'm getting hungry, which is so weird because I just ate like two hours ago and I never am usually hungry that fast, but girl, I'm getting hungry. So we're about to go ahead and make this Bertoli meal and some garlic bread. I and that's gonna be dinner and I mean nobody has to eat it right now but I'm hungry I'm gonna cook it right now it's five o'clock um they ain't gotta eat it right now they can heat it up and eat it but girl I'm getting ready to eat you know what girl I should have also mentioned this 
You need to know that God will never love you any more than he loves you right now. I love how simple this meal is. Girl, garlic bread, I'm gonna start buying a lot more simple meals because these Bertolis are actually good for you. They're not bad for you. I got three of these chicken, Florentine, and farfalle or farfall Bertoli meals. Y'all, this is my favorite Bertoli meal. It is so good. So simple, you guys. You literally throw it in a pan. Today I'm doing a pot, but I usually do a pan because I usually don't make three. I usually make one or two. Actually, babe, two is looking like enough. Well, then I wouldn't even done it in a pot. Okay, I'm going to actually put it in a pan. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'll be giving instructions like I really know what I'm talking about and they'll be like, actually, <laughs> I'm going to bring the big boy up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a lot of food. And I do always add a little bit of seasoning, but it realistically, it doesn't really need it. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and the bottom's gonna start cooking and then I'll start flipping it until it's thoroughly cooked. Super simple, y'all. And I don't have a cap for this pan because it just, it never came with a cap. Um, so I'm just gonna cook it without a cap, but it does cook a lot better if you do have a pan with a cap. Okay, I should have literally bought a million of these meals because I cannot believe how simple this is. I don't even wanna cook tomorrow. I don't even wanna take out no meat. I just want to go to the store and buy some more of these because how easy is this? Dinner be taking me hours, y'all. I be hot, slaving. Now, I could still do that, but I'm trying to have this for majority of the days of the week. <laughs> it's looking good, though, y'all. It's looking good. I'm about to go ahead and add this garlic bread or put the garlic bread in the oven. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Fun fact about me. My favorite cartoon right now is Cat in the Hat. I love Cat in the Hat. I literally learned so much from Cat in the Hat. I'm like, am I stupid or is Cat in the Hat just like an amazing educational show? I learned how honey is made and I don't even think I like honey anymore. I'm serious because what happens is bees put like the pollen in their mouth. Is it called pollen? They swish it around and they spit it out. That's how honey is made. Oh, <laughs> oven's ready. I also learned that camels they store water in their body. That's how they're able to go through the desert um, for a long time without drinking water. And then they eat a bunch of food and they store the fat in their humps. And that's why they're able to go without food as well. I didn't know this stuff. Am I dumb or what? I learned about migration. It's like I knew about migration, but I really didn't know about migration. But what I don't like is that, why is your mama let you go everywhere with this cat? Why you ask her to go out late at night and she's saying okay? Why your mama say yes every time? Girl, the other day, like it was laying in my bed and I was editing and I looked over and I was like, are her paws, like her paw pads, are they red? I go over there, I broke down and just bawled because I felt like the worst dog mom ever. Her little paws, y'all, like the pads on her paws, her skin on her paws was like raw on each toe. And I had no idea and I looked it up and it's the winter conditions. They said it can happen with the salt that's outside. Her paws don't like that salt and it like ate away at her skin a little bit. So, oh my gosh, y'all, I texted Jordan ASAP. I said, you need to go get her some boots because her paws are raw. He came home with the cutest like little Ugg boots. Like they look like Ugg boots are super cute. So adorable. So definitely check your dog's paws. I mean, I knew that like if concrete was like too hot that it could burn their paws and it could mess with their skin. Like I've never had an issue with that. This is new, so it's the salt that they use outside. Her paws don't like it. See, look it, when it cooks down, it ain't that much food. I mean, it's a decent amount, but when it cooks down, it ain't that much food. So I put some bag balm on her paws, and it worked, y'all. Bag balm, they use it on like cow udders. I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese, y'all, to make it, you know, more cheesy. Garlic bread getting ready to come out in literally one minute. And that meal's done in like 10 minutes. Girl, I'm gonna go just pour the rest of this. Sitting up trying to save some scraps. Mm. That man all the way done. I'm gonna let them go for like two more minutes. They talking about 50 seconds. Girl, uh-uh. We're gonna do two minutes and 30 seconds because them garlic breads be way too soft for me. I can't do no soft garlic bread. This will soften up the garlic bread. And if this don't end up being enough, I still have another one that I could, that I could quickly just throw in there and make. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. My bad girl, I had got caught up in eating my dang food. I forgot to show y'all. I also got caught up talking to my mom. She came up and got her food. It was perfect timing. I literally was coming downstairs to tell her um, that the food was ready and she was coming up to get herself something to eat. And I was like, actually I cooked. She was like, oh my gosh, for real, girl, I'm so hungry. So I was like, mm -hmm, perfect timing. So she got her food, I got my food. Jordan's gonna wait on his food because he's not hungry right now. But girl, this is what it looks like. And I'm happy because it's not unhealthy. It was very quick, pretty affordable, and it's gonna fill me up. Look, I'm grateful. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Amen. But girl, that is all for me tonight. I'm about to go ahead and actually take sleep medicine. I used to take sleep medicine every single night to make sure that I was on schedule because I have a hard time going to bed. Like, sleep is a struggle for me. So, I completely forgot that I used to do that. So, I'm about to start taking sleep medicine again. Or melatonin. I'll see which one works better for me. I have both. So, I'll probably do melatonin tonight. I'm about to go ahead and take some melatonin and try to get to bed. Because I have been going to bed so late, y'all. And I wake up every morning at 6.30. And I'm trying to work my way up to 5 a.m. But I can't do that unless I start going to bed earlier. So, I'm about to take some sleep stuff. Get myself ready for bed. And knock out. Okay. Do my prayers. And girl, knock out. I see you in the morning, girl. And we're about to go ahead and have a pamper morning. I'm so excited. All right, bestie. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, girl. It's the next morning. It is 6.15, but um, I woke up this morning and instantly I put on that More Than Able song I was telling you guys about yesterday. And I started to hear the lyrics a lot more. And it's so funny because as I get older, I actually pay attention to lyrics. Whereas when I was younger, I just, I only cared about what it sounded like. And I look back now and I'm like, oh my gosh, that song is what? Oh, turn it off. How did I ever like that? But now that I'm getting older, I pay attention to lyrics. Makes sense. Anyways, I literally relate to these lyrics so much. And I feel like, not even I feel like, I know Jesus let this song play yesterday for me. Because like, this is literally where I'm at right now. Where like, I am getting back closer to God. Like extremely close. When did I ever start to even slightly doubt you? Anyway, so the lyrics are, when did I start to forget all the great things you did? When did I throw away my faith for the impossible? How did I start to believe you weren't sufficient for me? Why do I talk myself out of seeing miracles? And I feel like I did that so much last year. And then it says, you are more than able. You are more than able. So you are more than able. You are more than able. Who am I to deny what the Lord can do? And of course, like, I really can't sing right now. It's... It's like literally morning time. It's easy for you. <laughs> Amen. And now I see all that I have. Oh, I've got my confidence back. I put my trust in the one who still does miracles. You do miracles. You are more than able. We've seen it. We've seen it. You are more than able. Who am I to deny what the Lord can do? Can you imagine with all the faith in the room what the Lord can do? And then she goes, and it's gonna happen. Just let the way make her through. He's gonna move. And can you imagine with all of the faith in the room what the Lord can do? And then they go, anything is possible. Anything is possible. He still can do it. He still can do it. He's not run out of time. Yeah, he still can do it. There's so much good and grace much more than I deserve I mean there's just so many good lyrics in here you guys I'm still learning the lyrics but oh my gosh there's so much more to the story you're not done with me yet just because I haven't seen it in my lifetime that doesn't mean he can't do it <laughs> he can still do miracles with nothing all it takes is nothing all it takes is nothing he can do a miracle like he can make nothing into something and like a lot of people don't understand that it's not like people's stamp of approval um, that is going to make you prosper in life. It's God's anointing. It's not um, your qualifications. It's not what's on your resume. It's God's anointing. Baby girl, I'm trying to do laundry. Like it. I'm trying to do laundry, sissy. No, ma'am. Girl, I threw my whites in the washer, put the detergent in there, forgot I don't have any baking soda. I do have vinegar, so I should be good. Forgot I don't have no baking soda. So that sucks. I did set a pickup order, like a drive up Target order, my very first drive up order. Yes, girl, I placed my very first Target pickup order. I've never done it. Okay, I've done like a pickup order when I was like 15, um, like where I actually went into the store. But this one is where I drive up and they put it in my car. I'm nervous. I've never done it before. But I'll be seeing people do it all the time when I go. So I was like, let me just try it out because I am feeling un under the weather today. So I'm going to stay in the house today. And then when I go to get my order, of course, I'm just going to sit in my car. But um, 
feeling a little sick. I have a sore throat. I've had a sore throat like the past couple days, but it's been like minor, but today it's actually worse. I'm feeling extremely drowsy. It's like I'm stuffed up. So I don't feel sick, thank God, but I definitely have symptoms. So that's why I'm doing a pickup order. I got all kind of stuff in that pickup order, y'all. I just got done reading the word of God. Amen. Amen. And I'm about to go ahead and brush my teeth, wash my face, and then we're going to go ahead and get started on Pamper Morning. Okay. But speaking about reading the Word of God, I did want to go ahead and say that it is important not to read the Word of God under obligation. It's important to read it and want to read it, like wanting to get something out of it. Because if you read it under obligation, like, okay, let me just get my little chapter in for today. Let me just go ahead and get my time in today. Okay. So I could just check it off my list. That's not what God's looking for. I mean, it's better than you not reading it at all. Don't get me wrong. But you're really not going to benefit from it. You're really not going to get the full package, get the meat and potatoes, if you're reading it under obligation. So this morning, the devil was really trying to like tempt me to read it under obligation. Just like get my little points in, get my little minutes in and call it a day. And God was like, okay, but how is that going to benefit you? So what is that going to do for you? Like, is it going to benefit you? Like this word is only to help you. This is not some rule book. This is guidance for this lifetime. The book is to help us. It's actually one of the best gifts he could have ever given us was the word of God. I don't know where I would be without the word of God. Just trying to figure stuff out by myself. The word of God is for us, for our good. God's commands and his rules for our good, literally. Sorry, I got tons of laundry on my floor right now. Um, for our good, and that's what people be getting twisted. Matter of fact, I was just reading in Nehemiah. I was just reading in Nehemiah today. Nehemiah has been really hitting for me. It's like you can literally take certain things that are in somebody else's story and apply it to your situation. But this, um, I read this today. Um, where he said, you warned them to return to your law, but they became proud and obstinate and disobeyed your commands. They did not follow your regulations by which people will find life if only they obey. Y'all became proud, act like you too good, and they began to disobey the commands and not obey God by which people will find life if only they obey. They stubbornly turn their backs on you and refuse to listen. Well, how do y'all think that ended? They end up realizing they was wrong and they had to come back to God. But that's the thing is that this, this is not a game. It's not a, okay, let me just be bad and then, oh, let me ask for God's forgiveness and take his mercy for granted. That's not what God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power and love and a sound mind. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power and love and a sound mind. Power and love and a sound mind. Don't ever cut out that power because this is the thing. You can love and not be passive. People hate when they come across a powerful Christian. Not hateful, a powerful Christian, okay? We gotta stop being passive. If they can stay alive, yeah. If he can stay alive, why would I serve him? I'm serving the I am. Cause every other God is an idol. Who cannot see, who cannot hear. There is one true living God. There is one true living God. Yeah. Every other God is an idol. Who cannot see, who cannot hear. But there is one true living God. There is one true living God. And his name is Jesus. Oh, Jesus, yeah, yeah, Yeshua, Yahweh, and his name is Jesus. Pamper morning, girl, here I come. But what is a pamper morning without hydration? Okay, girl. And let's not talk about my eyebrows, because, girl, I don't know what's going on either. <laughs> okay, so I guess they make their, um, their face masks within... The last seven days so if it goes over seven days and they won't sell it anymore but i'm like then what do you guys do with it i don't know that's what the sign said inside the store i should have bought a brush like a face mask brush but i don't have one i don't know where mine went i used to have a really good one but just disappeared on me i've never tried a lush face mask but i've heard really good things about lush products i'm really excited and they're cruelty free they don't do animal testing um i think everything they sell their stuff in is like recyclable so they're like you know planet people okay and they tell me exactly who this was made by they said it was made by 
Chelsea. See, this is who my face mask was made by. But this is the face mask that I'm using today, y'all. Mask of Magna Minty. It's a power mask and it says leave on for 15 minutes, but I honestly always leave my masks on for longer. Return this clean, empty packaging for $1 off your purchase. Oh, return five for a free, fresh face mask. I'm doing that for sure. For sure. For sure. It's vegetarian. Packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby adukai beans for deeply cleansed skin. Okay, girl, let's do it. I know I was talking so freaking much. Let me give you guys a better angle. Oh, girl, it's cold. Oh my goodness, it's cold. Mmm, it's all minty. Mmm. I kind of smell the beans though. What kind of beans they say was in here? Adukai beans. Scrubby adukai beans. So I guess those are like the little scrubby things in here. But they're not abrasive at all, which I love. I don't like using abrasive things on my face. Actually, I love that I have to put it in the fridge because y'all know I'd be hot. So applying this cold face mask really feels good. And there's no actives or anything in it, so I don't have to worry about, you know, leaving it on my face for too long. It feels so luxurious right now. I always felt like Lush was for the rich folks. I never even purchased it, but I was like, how about I just go ahead and try it? I'm all about body care and I haven't tried Lush. Like, where have I been at? So I just popped in there real quick and it was actually right next to the skincare place that they just opened up. I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but I know it's not gonna be up for long. It's one of those skincare places that never really gets like too much business just because like it's all a fake. So they're handing out serums and they like chase you down to take a sample. And he was like, do you have a skincare routine? I was like, yeah, I have a skincare routine. He's like, what do you do? Do you exfoliate? I said, yeah, I exfoliate. What do you exfoliate with? I said, I use a chemical exfoliant prescribed by my dermatologist. And he was like, oh, okay. Um, have you ever seen the skin come off while you're exfoliating? And instantly when he said that, I'm like, I know exactly what product you're getting ready to show me. It's going to be a product that gives you the illusion that your skin's coming off when really it's just a product that's like coming off. So he asked me like, you never seen your skin come off while exfoliating? And I was like, no. And he was like, show her, show her right now, show her how this works, show her how this works. So I was like, okay, I'm about to, you know, I'm about to, go, I'm about to go with the flow. It's pretty experience. I go in there, I'm hearing Chris Brown music and I'm smelling cologne, it's dudes everywhere. And I'm like, you guys are targeting the wrong group of people. You should be going for women and not men. Would it smell like cologne and Chris Brown, all the manly stuff going on. Men don't really care like, like that about skincare. So anyways, he takes my hand, Jordan's standing right next to me. I'd have never went in there if I wasn't with Jordan. I don't like being around men if I don't have like my brother or, um, Jordan with me, but he takes my hand and he uses the exfoliant and the skin's coming off. He was like, you see that? I was like, mm-hmm. But I'm about to sit up here and break down the science to you. I know a lot about skincare. I may not have perfect skin, but I have a lot of knowledge on skincare. And um, I was getting ready to say, you know, if my skin was coming off, that would be very dangerous. And he was saying, how many times do you exfoliate a week? Because you should be using this every day. I'm like, dude, if that was taking my skin off every single day, Oh my gosh, is that so dangerous? It's gonna do the reverse effect that I would even be using it for. Then he goes in with a moisturizer and they're like little scammers. So on the top of my hand right here, he puts a lot of lotion, like skincare cream, and he puts a little bit right here. He says, same amount, same amount. I'm like, no, it's not. So he rubs it in, this one absorbs, this one doesn't. He was like, see, it absorbed, this one didn't absorb. I was like, mm-hmm. I said, all right, well, thank you so much. I ain't gonna get none today, but I might come back and get some products. Wow, that's so amazing, you know? I'm just going with the flow. I'm gonna go put this back in the fridge and we're about to go ahead and get in the bath.
girl, tell me why I had to go back to the mall because y'all know yesterday I went to Lush and I ended up getting a sample of this King of Skin shower, ooh, body butter, y'all, almost just died, um, body butter. And you don't even have to use lotion if you use it. And I was like, girl, yeah, right. Also, I'm rushing back to my car right now. I wasn't saying anything <laughs> because I'm scared somebody gonna go to my car and take my phone. I forgot to lock my car and my phone's in here. I had to buy me and my mom one of the full king of skin in shower body butters i'm not gonna play you need this if you have dry skin or if you do not like oh it automatically locked my doors thank you for protecting me kia um what was i gonna say if you don't like applying lotion or if you have like super dry skin oh my gosh when i tell you um this is not it i got two king of butter body butters for in the shower i used the sample today all you have to do is rub this over your skin, massage it in, rinse it off, and you don't need lotion. My skin is way more moisturized than if I were to use lotion. So I got one for me and one for my mom. Lush is my new spot. I was gonna buy another face back, but I was like, girl, just finish out the one you got and then you can start trying other ones. Cut scene, actually, it would not be a good idea to buy multiple Lush face masks because there are no preservatives. So they expire within like one month. So I'm glad that I did not buy more face masks because I have to use up that one. My skin looks amazing. My skin has never been this soft. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love Lush they are the real OGs hold on let me tell Target I'm on my way because I gotta go pick up my pickup water <laughs> shut up Jordan he gonna send me a picture of this dog talking about some I'm so sorry baby I bought this dog and had to pick him up later <laughs> shut up I don't want no other dog no time soon girl essence scarred me that face mask when I tell y'all I was so scared when I took it off my face was bloodshot red and I was like oh my gosh why is it red so it must have been the clay that was in that face mask that made my face red. But when I tell y'all, my skin is so smooth, it don't even make sense. It don't even make sense. It don't even make sense. So my skin, y'all could tell, my skin looks so good right now from that freaking face mask. The body wash was so beautiful. Okay, I'm on my way. What? What you mean? Is that really possible? They telling me that I can add on a Starbucks refresher to my Target pickup order? Are you serious? Because if you're serious, I'm about to really add it. Venti, I just added it. Oh my gosh, wait, they about to bring my Starbucks to me? I'm a, I'm feeling like a queen right now. Y'all probably like, girl, how you not feeling good and still acting like this? I don't know, when I get excited, girl, I get energy. Choose the vehicle type and color that best match your ride so we can spot you when you arrive. SUV, black. Yeah, I'm gonna do the back right. Yeah, they can come to the back right. Um, Black Kia SUV, place bags and back right seat. One Starbucks cafe item, continue. Make this drive up lightning fast, enable your location. All right, I gotta head to Target. Um, but I also bought this scrubby exfoliating body butter. I seen this on TikTok years back. This girl was raving about shaving her downstairs area with it and how good it worked. Let me put y'all up on this tripod. Speaking of tripod, y'all, I told y'all recently I did buy a new tripod. I bought it because this one's super shaky. There's some technical difficulties, so now I can't use the other tripod. So we got to kind of just like champ it out with this one, y'all. So if it gets shaky, I'm so sorry. I bought the wrong tripod. I heard that this was a better tripod, but it ended up not being a better tripod. Just stick with what you know, y'all. If something ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't even try to fix it, y'all. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Six minutes away. Perfect. For some reason, I cannot think right now. Um, my throat hurts, y'all. It's so annoying when my throat hurts. Like, that's one of, like, the worst things for me is, like, when my throat hurts. Because every single time I swallow, it hurts. The drowsiness definitely went away. So, I'm happy about that. I believe it was, like, the amount of water I drank and stuff like that. But then where do I go afterwards? What am I going? Okay, over here. Water definitely helped me. So, I'm not drowsy anymore. I'm just, like, extremely relaxed because that bath. Oh my gosh, so relaxing. I got out of the bath and I was just so calm, like so chill. It feels so good right now, y'all. I feel so relaxed, super calm, super clean. I smell so beautiful because I wore or I'm wearing my Coco Store perfume, y'all. Absolutely beautiful fragrance, y'all. It's my kind of fragrance. Jordan smelled it in the store and was like, girl, buy two. Because there's no way that it smells that good so yeah i know i said i was gonna stay in the house and stuff like that but girl i had to go grab 
those because I was like, oh my gosh, so freaking good. That's how they get you with them samples. She gave me that sample. She knew I was going to come back. But I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit confused because I was like, I was here yesterday, but it was a whole different lady. I said, I was here yesterday um, and I got a sample. So I'm coming back to get um, the full thing. She's like, yeah, I knew you looked familiar. I thought you looked familiar. Well. Yeah, yes. yeah. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, girl, we're about to pull up. Two minutes. I know where I'm at now. You know when you figure out that certain roles be connected? I'm like, wait a minute, since when? I don't even remember these things connected like that. Okay. The weather's so bad, there's slush everywhere. I'm so happy I have an all wheel drive car, but I'ma put the camera down here so y'all can still see me, but just not the person that's loading the stuff in my car. I'm not disrespectful like that. People are so disrespectful nowadays. They'll just whip out a camera and don't even care about how that person feels about it and I don't like that. And some people don't know how to stick up for themselves and say, hey, no, 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 I'm okay. Please don't record me. All right, let me find these Target pickup spots. If they really about to bring me, which I, they have to because I pay for it, I'm really gonna cry. Like, there's no freaking way. But I'm hungry, so I'm about to have to shoot over to Pancheros and grab like a burrito or something. I'm gonna call my mom and ask her if she wants something. Oh, I see, I see. Oh my gosh, I almost just entered a do not enter. Okay, so I could drive up to any of these spots. Awesome. The other day I was at Target sitting in the car while Jordan was going to the store. Tell me why two different people pulled up to drive up spots and just went in the store because they didn't want to find a parking spot. All right, I'm gonna pull up to space number seven. Let me let them know I'm here. Text mommy, do you want anything from Pancheros? I'm okay, baby. Thank you. Okay, she don't want nothing from Pancheros. Where would you like your items? Oh, uh, right here. Okay. Thank you. Here is your drink. Thank you so much. Yep. And then what's the code again? 6380. Okay, have a good day. You too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, they ain't give me no straw. Oh, that's all right. Okay, girl. I got my Starbucks. Let me check this order. 10, 11, 12, 13. I got everything. Oh my gosh, that poor lady had to go in the store because they didn't get her order right. Well, I thank you, Jesus, for preparing my order right, cause I give I get a load every 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 credit. Girl, I wish Pancheros had a drive through. There's no drive through over here. I'm trying to go to, cause I don't want to go in there, but I'm gonna do it. Talk all you want, but you still gonna do it. Talk all you want, but you still gonna do it. Mm. Oh my gosh, this brings back so many memories. My mom and I, we had a winter where we literally got Starbucks every single morning. And I don't know why, but that just brought back so many memories. I know they like, girl, pull off. I know. My car is wild. It lets me know everything. It's such a safe car, y'all. Such a safe car. I love it. Like, it will not let you get over if somebody's right there. Like I told y'all, it lets you know when somebody is pulling off ahead of you so you're not just late pulling off. It'll let you know if somebody's right behind you. It keeps you in the line so you don't go out of the lines so many features like i can't even tell y'all like it lets you know how many miles until you're gonna run out of gas it's a four-wheel drive this is the 2024 key uh kia tell you right it has a lot more little bells and whistles um like my screen is literally humongous and this is the first year that they did that for the tell you rides but i'm confused Do i go straight yeah i go straight okay um my baby be driving me around here so i remember i'm so happy life is good y'all i was so miserable 2023 i'm not gonna lie i faked it all i wanted but truly I was miserable. 2024 is my year. I feel it. I know it. I speak it. I claim it. I'm going to give me a spicy burrito. And yeah, I'm going to get chicken, rice, black beans. I usually get pinto, but I want black. I'm going to get a bunch of hot sauce, hot salsa, cheese, sour cream, queso, and that's it. Oh, I'm so excited. Girl, I ain't got nothing to do today. Nothing to do. Which I'm so happy because, yeah, I'm just so happy. <laughs> God is good. Oh, I love days like this. I'm like, I'm going to enjoy these years of not having no kids, no crazy responsibilities. Like, I'm just going to enjoy it. Like, I'm not trying to rush into life. I really just want to enjoy it. Learn about myself some more. You know, me and Jordan, I feel like we get to know each other more and more every single day. All right. My girls be up in this Pancheros, though. It's a bunch of girls in here I mess with for real. They always be like, girl, you smell so good. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. They're so sweet. I don't care how fast somebody is riding on your tail. Not saying somebody was just doing that. 
but I don't care how fast somebody's riding on your toe, don't you ever speed up for nobody. Drive the speed limit. The heck you about to get in trouble for some peer, for some peer pressure? P peer pressure? Yeah, peer pressure. <laughs> I used to think it was pure pressure, but it's peer pressure, like your peers. Just chill, worry about what's going on in your car, worry about how you're driving, or worry about how everybody else is driving. Here I am at Panchia Girl, Pancheros is the spot. Here I come, girl. Girl, I'm gonna take you with me. You just can't see me. Hold on, I got all these expensive bags up in here. Hold on. But I can see straight out the window. If I gotta pull out my strap, you better get away from my car. Hello. I'm gonna get a chicken burrito. Right. And black beans. And then I'll do queso, cheese, and a hot salsa. And I'll get a little extra. And then sour cream, and that's, that's it. All right. Thank you so much, you too. Also, I need my girls to be safe, y'all. So every single time you get in the car, pray to Jesus that he will cover your car with his holy blood. Pray that you will not get into any car accidents. Pray that nothing happens to your car, nothing happens to you. Pray that no hurt, harm, or danger comes near you while you're on the road. Please pray every single time you're getting ready to drive. And um, my mom prayed all the time, but I feel like who really kind of taught me that was Jordan's brother, Jordan's big brother. I remember I was 15 and Jordan and his brother and my brothers had a sleepover. And the next day there was like some church service, like a youth service, and they came to pick me up for it. And before he took off in that car, he prayed. And I was like, wow, that is really awesome. He was like, yeah, I'm not gonna drive unless I pray. I'm not gonna take off until I pray. And I was like, okay. So then when I got my car, I started praying that. And I pray that each and every time my family leaves, every single time my brother goes to work, every time my mom leaves the house, every time my husband leaves the house, I'm praying over their driving. I'm praying over their entire trip. Lord Jesus, help them to make it to their destination safely. Help them to make it to each destination and back safely in the mighty power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But not only them being safe, but also that prayer could be, you know, you're going to be safe, but you could still get in a car accident and be safe. So I also pray over my car. Lord Jesus, please don't let anything happen to my car. No dents, no scratches, no crashes with anybody or anybody with me like I just cover it all like you have to cover everything in prayer period but girl when I'm driving I love to enjoy my drive and I play my music so I'm about to go ahead and play some jams and um go home and eat my food I don't know what it is about drinking a good drink while driving and listening to good music it's such a vibe and it just makes me like I don't know it's like I'm romanticizing my life it's something about it I know the people behind me are so mad at me most of the red lights out here are no turn on red. I didn't know this one wasn't. So I've just been sitting here the entire time. They could have honked their horn at me, but they didn't. So I appreciate it. All right, now I can go. Your girl made it home safely, amen. I'm about to go ahead and show y'all everything that I got from Target. First things first, I got a new glass cleaner in the scent Lemon and Mint. Super aesthetic little packaging. Like I told y'all earlier, I needed more baking soda, so I got a whole bag of baking soda. I got a big old thing of vinegar because it takes stains out and it also keeps your clothes really white. I personally wouldn't suggest using bleach on your white clothes. I would use um, baking soda and vinegar. Bleach actually makes things yellow. Um, I'm about to go ahead and get my house smelling good, girl. So I got two Super Bloom Glade plugins. So you're about to go ahead and put those up or put those in. I got some mayonnaise because I seen this video yesterday. Um, it's like a viral video of how to make Wingstop Ranch, and it was mayo, milk, and Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning so I got the milk in the fridge I got the Hidden Valley ranch seasoning so I've been writing a lot I've been taking a lot of notes and these are my favorite to write with I have been obsessed with these since seventh grade when my grandpa took me um, school shopping school supply shopping they came out with these that year and I've been obsessed ever since this is like my fifth pack in my life I love these they're the extra strong ones and they're 0.9 millimeters so they're like the bigger lids so they don't break I got 
a three pack. It got a little messed up, but I got a three pack of my oil mister re refills. I'm about to go ahead and put those in. Like I told y'all, I'm trying to do an easy dinner like I told y'all and I'm not feeling good, so it's gonna work out. This is the type of stuff that I have my baby cook because he's really good at just putting stuff in the air fryer and making it good in the air fryer. So I got some boneless chicken bites, buffalo style. And he loves these ones. So I got these ones as well. The honey barbecue flavor. These are so good, y'all. So I'm going to crisp them up or he's going to crisp those up in the air fryer. And then I'm going to make a wing stop ranch. But at the same time, he's talking about getting B-dubs today because they have a BOGO sale going on. Buy one, get one for boneless wings. So he said he was going to pick that up on his way home from work because he's been really craving it. So we probably won't eat this tonight, but we're going to be eating it soon. Simple dinner. I got some fries, throw those in the air fryer, and that's everything. Uh -huh. Girl, I'm glad Panchero still be good after a while because I still have not eaten my food, y'all. But I'm going to soon. I want to get all these plugins all plugged in the house because I need a fragrance in my home. Okay, it's been a little minute since I replaced my plugins. So I'm really excited, but right now I have the Febreze Duo plugs and these are not Febreze Duo kind. So I brought out my handy dandy plug-in bin and I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of these ones with the Glade ones. The perks of having all the different kind of plug-ins, girl, we have Airwick kinds, the Glade ones, the Febreze ones, Bath and Body Works ones, so that if we want a different scent, but it doesn't come in like the same like brand. We could just switch them out. And these, oh my gosh, they smell so beautiful. So it smells like lush gardenia and pink peony. I love peony, you guys, and I also love gardenia. And I turn them all the way up personally because I like for my house to have a nice strong fragrance to it. It's a big house, so. If I don't turn them all the way up, you can't even smell them. I smelled these in the store the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, they smell so freaking good. So when I was placing my pickup order, I was like, let me just go ahead and get them because they're $12.99 a pack, which is a lot cheaper than the um, Febreze Duo ones. And your girl's about to go ahead and drink on one of these little pink lemonade vitamin C daily immune support packets. My mom told me to go ahead and drink one of these because it has vitamins and um, vitamin C, of course, antioxidants, all kind of stuff for um, me coming down with the sickness. But I also gotta go ahead and drink a Theraflu for my throat. So I'll also drink one of these too. Headache, sore throat pain, perfect. When I get done eating, I will, because I ain't trying to drink that right now. It's not yummy, it's not appetizing at all. But I am gonna go ahead and drink both of those so that I can maybe nip it in the bud before it gets too bad. Um, me being sick, whatever the heck. Oh yeah, and I have on the pants and the shirt that I was showing you guys yesterday. It looks, okay, okay. Okay, 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 girl, I am too excited. spicy oh my gosh my eyes are watering y'all i had them put extra hot sauce in there how i always do but this time it just seemed a little extra spicy. oh girl that's real hot hold on am i the only one that like i can tolerate very hot food on some days but then other days i just can't like oh my gosh it's giving me heartburn mm -mm -mm. but it's so good and like I told y'all, he was gonna buy Buffalo Wild Wings. He has to go back to work soon, but um, he bought me my favorite Buffalo Wild Wings meal. I get the honey barbecue um, boneless wings and I get salt and vinegar fries. So good, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, it is so amazing. But I'm not gonna eat it right now because I'm not hungry. 
So at least I got food for when I do get hungry. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. He was like, I seen you were at Panchero's, your stalker. He was like, I seen you were at Panchero's, so are you hungry? I was like, I'm not hungry, but you can grab me some food for later. Okay, because they, they stuff still be good later. They fry and still be good later, which is saying something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Yeah, I we'll miss you. Hug him, hug him. I took a bath today. I had like a little pamper morning. Uh -huh. And remember that girl gave me samples yesterday? Yeah. And she was like, this is the king of the skin in shower body butter. You don't have to use lotion. Mm -hmm. Used it today. And now I'm an addict. It so I went good. back. Yes, it was that good. So I went back and I bought another one. And I bought a, a, like a bee scrubby. Mm -hmm. This is like the same thing, but it's like a bee. It has like honey and stuff in it, and like right. little like I think it's like coffee grains in there, so it's, it'll also exfoliate. So yeah. That's dope. So yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, that's cool actually. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw something right there. Are you coming for my face right now? <laughs> trying to wipe off, are you trying to wipe off my flaws? Yeah. When I tell y'all my house smells so good right now, oh my gosh, these smell topped here. If you like gardenia and like peony, which this is mostly gardenia, these super bloom plugins, they will get your house right. They'll get your room right, girl. They'll get you right. And my little oil misters, girl, they smell so good. I would have, I forgot to buy automatic sprayers, but oh well. Oh well. I gotta down this, y'all. Mm, mm, uh. This is so disgusting. This is disgusting. That's the pink lemonade. Jordan. <gasps> mm -mm. I'm sorry, I don't know if I can finish this. This is really bad. Mm -mm. Why did I buy these? <clears throat> this ain't it. Oh my god, it's like drinking medicine. So then put the app on my phone because that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I was telling Jordan I was in the mall earlier and I forgot my phone because I went to go do scan to pay, didn't have my phone. And then I was like, wait a minute, I didn't even lock the doors. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I don't know. I'll always make sure to do that now, but I wasn't thinking straight. <clears throat> he was like, I know. I was like, what do you mean you know? He was like, I got a notification. I got a notification on my phone that the doors weren't locked. And he was like, and I seen your location on your phone and it was just sitting in the parking lot. And I was like, wait a minute. <clears throat> what do you mean app so he downloaded this kia app and basically i can lock my doors from my app and i can track my car i can literally do everything on here oh my gosh i can start my car the internet defrost set the temperature oh <gasps> only reason i knew about that was i put two and two together because <clears throat> I, I did the find my iphone i never did the uh find the car thing. I, I know. That That's that what I was thing. saying. You got a notification that the car was unlocked. Yeah. And then find my iPhone was showing that I was in the same spot. Exactly. Your girl just got out of the car, left her phone, and then locked the door. That's not even like me. I was just so excited to get my little um skin butter. Yeah, I was like, you don't ever be sitting in the lock that long. Mm -mm. What is going on? Wow, babe. Oh my gosh, you show me how much gas? Dude, stop yeah. playing right now. Gas miles, everything. I'm so grateful for my car, Jordan. And I'm so happy it's four wheel drive. I was, I ain't had no issue in that snow today. God knew what he was doing. He's so sweet, y'all, because my mom woke up one morning and said, I had a dream last night that you were pulling up in a Telluride. <clears throat> and I was like, girl, I ain't gonna tell you right. I'm telling you right, it's expensive. I ain't got time. And then, oh my gosh, it just all came together. A lady ended up wanting that car, but then last minute backed out of the deal. And it was the end of the month, so the price was like low. My husband gave me a large down payment, so my, so my car payment's low. Like everything just worked out. Cause we were walking out to go look at a um, a Sorrento, um, and I was like, "Well, what's this car?" He was like, "It's a Telluride. It's gonna be a lot more expensive." And I was like, "Oh, I'm straight. I'm straight." And he just pulled the Telluride out and was like, "You can test drive it if you want." I test drove it. I was like, "Oh my gosh, I love this car." We ended up going inside, and I was like, "No, I still want the Sorrento because it, I know it's gonna be cheaper. Like the payments are gonna be cheaper." Girl, they brought me the prices. They said it's gonna be like a ten dollar difference. It's not really gonna be a big difference in your payment. And I was like, "Okay, just get the Telly." So I got that. And girls got four wheel drive, so I was straight out here in this snow. Anyways, let me get back to the episode, y'all. I'm watching the episode. I am having a good time. They threw away Timmy's husband's snacks, which it hurts my heart so 
bad to know that he's actually passed on now. I don't like how they're allowed to have snacks in that facility. I don't know why they're allowed to have snacks. Um, now they're paintballing Amy's dress, her wedding dress, because she don't want to look at it no more. She don't want to do with it. Okay. So let me get back to my episode, y'all. Okay, girl. So I was planning on doing more filming and stuff like that today. But y'all, my throat is getting worse and worse. So I'm actually going to drink the nighttime Theraflu. And I'm going to try to sleep this off. And I'm really hoping the Theraflu helps my throat. So I'm not going to be doing any more filming today. I'm going to go ahead and end off the vlog right here. I'm going to drink on some Pedialyte water. I'm going to drink some nighttime Theraflu. I'm going to stay hydrated, try to get some rest. Because that's how we got better growing up. My mom kept us really hydrated. And she let us rest. Like she would be like sleep, sleep, sleep. Because your body heals while you're sleeping. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. But girl... I'm gonna go ahead and head up out of here. I love you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my vlog. I really love doing them in like the two day span. I know we didn't do like too much today, but like I love that you guys don't really care about like me doing stuff. You really just wanna hear me talk. You just wanna like hear what I have to say. I love that about you guys. You guys always like reassure me like, girl, it's fine. Like we don't care about like what you're doing. We just wanna see you. We just wanna hear you. And I love y'all for that. So I love you all. God bless you all in the mighty power frame of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember to stay in peace because the devil can't control you if you stay in peace. Bye guys.